My name is Wamuyan Bao and I am a lecturer at Stellenbosch University. I am currently at STS doing a project called uh, Representing Discontent, South Africa in Words and on Screen. My work deals with questions of social anxieties in the context of the lived and the everyday experience and how we see those things being represented in various social objects, whether those be uh, literary texts or films or other everyday you know, outputs that emerge in the world in particular ways. I am very interested in thinking about the idea of anxiety as a condition in the popular moment, or in the current moment. Uh, why it is it very often representations of South Africa and representations of being in this country tend to speak themselves through the notion of anxiety or unease in the world. Um, and what is it about certain conditions that have happened or transpired since the advent of democracy in 1994 that have caused this condition that we might term anxiety, or anxiety is a kind of national mood. And so a lot of my writing taps into trying to figure out where that mood comes from and what kinds of energies that mood generates and what sort of things um, speak themselves through these energies. So it looks at moments in the recent South African past and how those moments might be represented in film, even though we find ourselves, you know, 20, 30 years after the fact. Um, I'm very interested in why people go back to certain ideas, why certain ideas still have lingering currency and why as a country we tend to be focused in a lot of our cultural production on pasts and legacies and heritages and these residues of, of things that have gone before rather than thinking about futurity, thinking about the future in sustainable and interesting ways. So my research broadly speaking, looks at the question of the present and how the present is inflected by, you know, these notions of, of past and history, and thinks about ways in which looking at that, and especially looking at how it speaks itself in often very unobserved quarters, very unobserved places, you know, like, like very humble objects, things that we don't necessarily think of as harboring particular meanings or things that we tend to take for granted and think of as being very casual actually tend to be quite significant harbors of meaning. And it says if we look at ordinary objects, we can see how those objects actually tell us a great deal about ourselves and about where we find ourselves and what we think of ourselves in the present moment. As an example of some of the things that I've been talking about in a seminar that I recently conducted here at STS, um, I spoke about the phenomenon of misrecognition in the social scene and I looked at various instances across literature and in other social examples to try and figure out what happens when people find themselves being misrecognized. What is going on, socially speaking, in that moment where some sort of glitch or some sort of technical hiccup happens and what that says about how we consider ourselves and how those considerations are still inflected by past forms of knowledge and past forms of understanding about people and how people are and move about in the world.